Welcome back, everypony. Time for Depression Villa. Yay! What? I don't care about my situation. I'm just a guy whose life is worthless. There's no point in me living anyway. Alright, fucking Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's literally... He's literally asking to be shot. What are you aiming at? Here! Shoot me here! <laughs> <laughs> Dumb broad, I'm right here. Shoot the big circle in the center. So kind of a weird camera angle, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Almost as if someone's watching. Yeah. <laughs> you should resist. You should at least resist a little bit. <laughs> Stop it! Keep your hands off of Ellie. How the hell did you know her name? Good question, Don. That is a very, very good question. Now kill them. Kill them because they're different from you. That's horrible, Drummy. Well, they're monsters, obviously. Well, the forest elf. I cannot, I can or cannot actually confirm whether or not these are actual elves or not. But I do not believe elves take place in this world. Sorry. Well, they're dead anyways. Yes, I do not believe they are forced elves in the traditional sense of elves. Yeah. Neither neither Tolkien style elves or you know North Pole Santa's little helpers. So she's knocked out cold. Well, yeah. Let me drop down on you and smack you. Jeez. Okay. Good. You finally woke up. You didn't move for so long that I started to worry. She's just being a nice guy. Yeah. Who wants to die? You know. <laughs> How you feeling? You think you can aim at my chest now? <laughs> you know what I want you to do, do Don? Hmm. I want you to read these lines. Why? You don't have to give a voice. Just read them out loud. How Cause... are you feeling? Do you still intend to kill me? Then go right ahead and shoot me. But you better not do it while we're in this forest. Forest monsters hate loud noises, you know. Could have gave her that warning 30 seconds earlier. Yeah, but she should know. She should know because she's in the same forest. Fine, don't talk to me if you don't want to. But it wouldn't kill you to thank me for tending your wounds. <laughs> Thanks, but you shouldn't have helped me. Don't think it'll save your life, though. It really doesn't change a thing. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. I'm just being cautious. It's natural for me to be uh, this cautious because uh, concerning I've met a suspicious surface dwelling lamb. Huh. Don't you... Uh, ah. Don't <laughs> you worry, I'm not going to do anything. Besides, you're much more suspicious than I am. Is she? I don't know. She was speaking a funny language outside of him. <laughs> you are speaking American, so you're <laughs> funny. <laughs> she also has a gun. I haven't seen anyone else with a gun yet. Fair enough. There are guns in this world. There are many technologies in this world. Hmm. So, what's your name? You said it! But she doesn't actually know. I won't give my name to a surface dweller lamb. What's with you in this lamb thing? So, I can't tell you the word that it was is most closely related with that word. Let's just say that's a really bad word to call somebody. Lamb? Yeah. Let's just leave it at that and just say for the sake of censorship, I can't tell you what's the next closest comparable word. Click! No, you don't need to! <laughs> <laughs> We're both lost in this forest surrounded by dangerous monsters. Shouldn't we at least be cooperating with each other until we get out of here? She's clearly talking about you in a much... I, I figured that. Yeah, in a much less... I was yeah. reading the line, not literally asking the question, but thanks for clarifying anyway. Yeah, yeah. Don't I'll get pat you, my head. I'll get you a cookie later. I don't want a cookie. I want a biscuit. I don't, I don't want a biscuit. Good. So what's your name? It's going to be hard for us cooperating with one another without at least knowing each other's names. Anyways... 
My name is uh, Fei Feng Wong. You can call me Fei. This is the point of the game where all the Chinese like historians are like, Oh my god, his name is Fei Feng Wong! I'm... I can't read that. <laughs> That's a very good point. The way you pronounce it is El, is El, El Haim. El Haim? El Haim. It, you're not supposed to be able to pronounce it because it's not an actual word. What it is, and I'll, uh, you can continue. But my parents call me Ellie. What it is, is El Haim is a backward spelling misspelled of Mayala, which is is like ancient Hebrew for or ancient like uh, um, uh, I can't remember what language it is basically the word means saint okay or it means saint or angel or something like that basically it's an it's a it's a it's a reference it's not supposed to really stand out but it plays a big part into her character all right Ellie huh somehow I already knew that anyway it's too dangerous to travel in these parts this late at night Let's wait till daybreak before we continue looking for a way out of here. If that's okay with you. I guess we have no choice, do we? Okay then, Ellie. How about having something to eat? Are you eating elf? Yeah. No. <laughs> You're eating hob jerky. Okay. You're eating the meat of the hobgobs that you keep finding. And now... You're in a desert. Congratulations. How did you get here? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you not wearing the same clothes as before? Who are these people who are walking in the desert? They may be more lambs. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Why are they all walking in a straight line? Hey! Don't leave me here! Wait! Wow, great delay lip syncing. I know... It's, I'm allowed to make fun of it's it. It's not delay as much as it is there's no lip syncing between the animation of the anime and the actual voice acting. <laughs> and then you have Random Woman. It's Ellie. It certainly does look like Ellie. And what is she wearing? A cross necklace? Ah, it was all a dream. Of course. Of course it was a dream sequence. A very weird dream sequence, which yep. will probably be answered for you in about... 20 hours? Um, more like 35. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 35 if you're lucky. Are you awake? Alright, uh, spin the camera. Uh, well, yeah, you can look at her items. Um, uh, she is R1 also L1. wearing a stamina ring. No, that is you. Oh, that's Faye. Sorry. Yes, she has a magical rod, a pilot uniform, an ether stone, and an anti ether stone. You so wanna... she's more of the mage. Yeah, she's one of the few characters. If you look at her abilities and her, uh, she casts elemental magic. Terra, aqua. Terra. I'm gonna teach you something really quick because this is built into the mechanics of the game. Uh, Anima Bolt, uh, Lightning and Ice counteract each other. Okay, so... And the same thing with Fire and, and earth. earth. Okay. So if an enemy is an Earth type... Hit him with Water. Uh, no, hit him with Fire. Yes. And if an enemy is a Lightning type... Hit him with Water. Well, it's... if Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Lightning. Wind attack. Water attack. Fire attack, earth attack. I can somewhat memorize that. For the most part, it won't really matter. Most enemies are kind of element neutral. There's only like a few enemies that are like obviously element specific. Okay, so there's not when I spin the camera. Uh, not that way, but go west. Uh, no, I'm sorry, south. Start heading south. There we go. Uh, yep, up there. Uh, and then up that way. Follow that guy. Watch out. There you go. Kill those hobgobs. I don't know if you're in the fight with the hobgobs. You're in the fight with the hobgobs. Good job. Wow. 
So, you don't need to... Like, Ellie has Death Blows as well. You won't need to learn any. Obviously, you can't, because she doesn't have enough points anyway. Well, she's only level 4. You're already out-leveling the... <laughs> you're already out-leveling your, your party members. It's not like I'm trying! That's what I was saying. Like, you didn't... Are you Like, you, you keep blowing it off saying, Oh, I get it, I get it, no grinding. I mean, literally, if you grind, it's just going to make things like this more annoying as people try to catch up with levels. Well, like I said, I'm not... I'm not grinding, I'm just following your direction. Yes, alright. Go straight and drop down there, get the item. Survival tent. Uh, yeah, go ahead and save here. That's the idea. Uh, don't worry about the item below, it's nothing important. Say, I will say my rule about, like, no grinding, I may rescind that at least at maybe one point if you are short of money. Like, dangerously short of money. At this point, you're not. Yeah, because nothing's really dropping money. No, and you don't need money, that's why. Yeah, I've only gotten 200 gold on me. But I mean, like, okay, you don't even... magic those, and I beat the shit out of these. That's a good idea. They're flying, so let's try water. Yeah, a lot of this uh, trial and error will help you figure out what things are weak. Shit, 99 damage, I think I got it. I can't remember how much damage it's supposed to be, though. Try the Anemo Bolt next. Okay. After taking some wing to the face, of course. And... Bam. Okay, so it's pretty much the same. Yeah, her ether magic... I, I will tell you that her ether magic... You can go. Yeah, her, her ether magic is about the same score it will as... Be, it will be broken later on. I would imagine. You... Oh, okay. <laughs> Faye? Yesterday you said your life was worthless. What do you mean by that? Why are you asking? Why, yesterday you looked like you had a death wish. It would cause anyone alarm. No shit! You think it would make me wonder? Say, how did you get stranded in this forest in the first place? I should ask you the same question. How, well, I... Uh... <laughs> um, maybe we should just avoid this conversation <laughs> altogether. <laughs> I ran away from my village. Or what's left of it. Village? You don't mean... You mean the sight Lahan. of the giant explosion that happened just last night or two nights ago? <laughs> yeah. It was a small buzz that existed between the forest and the mountain range. I ran away from there. That village? It was a nice peaceful village. Everyone there treated me like family. Then, last night, a group of gear suddenly appeared and started fighting right in the middle of the place. The village was engulfed in flames. I couldn't just stand there and watch Lahan was being Lahan being destroyed. So, to try and save the villagers, I got an empty gear without even knowing how to operate it. I just thought maybe I could do do it. No, it was more like someone whispering to me. Someone whispering uh, to me, telling me to do it. But it was a disaster. The village was it destroyed by the uh, Kislev army. Bay. No, the village was destroyed by me. Yes, it was me. I destroyed Lahan. I'm sure of it. What do you mean you destroyed it? I thought you were trying to save the villagers. I did try to help. I actually took out a few gears. But then I came under heavy fire from a new group of gears. Exposition, exposition, get it out ASAP. What? He's just ex he's just expositioning everything that just happened. Yeah. And then my friend uh, friend Timothy was hit by a hail of bullets. Actually, just one hit him. 
To be honest, you saw the cutscene. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I lost it. Everything just went dark. I don't remember anything after that. The gear I was in went out of control. Well, that's what the doc said. When I came to the village, and everyone in it was... Alice, she was such a... Alice and Timothy. God. Everybody. All such good people. Went out of control. The gear. What about the village? Hey. Yes, the gear. Okay, I thought it froze again. So, this seems... Before you press X, take a look I'm at the I'm not scene. hitting X. Oh, you're not? No. What's there in the back? Uh, is that his gear? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's the gear. And she's in a gear. She was one of the gears that was fighting in the village. Oh. Shrapnel in my back. My thrusters output is dropping. I can't maintain altitude. So one of these things that the game does is that it doesn't give you the storyline from just Faye's point of view. Yeah, no shit. It's actually kind of nice. Because the idea of the, the game is not to make you wonder what's happening, but to make you wonder how. Like... How did these things transcribe? How did these things get to here? But you will learn things before the characters learn them, most of the time. Okay. Or if you don't, all the better. Because then if you figure it out at the same time the they do... It's a better surprise and you it's feel... It's more of a surprise, yeah. which is why I'm trying not to ruin anything for you. If they, have never uh, if they have never come to the village, never started fighting there, they wouldn't have tried to pilot that gear. It's all their fault, not mine. They're the ones to blame. They never came. None of this would have... If not for them. Them! 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 Enough <laughs> of that. Enough of that. So he's mad. You're no a coward. shit! I think you'd be freaking mad too. Yeah, pretty much. You're a coward. Yeah. Coward? <laughs> Me? Keep in mind, she knows very well she was there. Yeah, but she doesn't want to get his fist in her face. Can't blame her for that. Yes, you're a coward. All you're saying is them, them, them. Don't talk as if you had no part of the blame as well. I'm to blame? Yes, that's right. Of course the direct cause of the, ba uh, of the battle was that a gear made an emergency landing in your village. But all Kessov wanted was the gear, right? They weren't invading... <clears throat> invading or out to destroy Lahan. The real damage occurred because you climbed in the gear and tried to fight back. It's all your fault because you were trying to defend yourself. Yep, sounds about... sounds legit. <laughs> Whatever made you get into that gear? Not just anyone can pilot them. It takes training. There is no way a civilian could hope to pilot one. Besides, you should have been helping the villagers flee to safety instead. Wow, like the doctor told him. Yeah, like pretty much everyone told him. Like he pretty much told everyone that he was going to do. Yep. Yeah. How could you blame the damage on a gear when it was your decision to fight in the first, fight in it in the first place? Why don't you take some of the responsibility yourself? Why are you putting all the blame on others? That's just running away. That's what makes you a coward. Well, if you put it that way... Yes. That's right. I am a coward. I didn't realize my own strength. And have been blaming what happened as a result of that of on others. I'm a pitiful excuse for a man, but... I just felt that rush of blood in me and I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself or help others. See, I'm not really sure if he's being sarcastic there, or if he literally feels like the most pathetic waste of space. I think he feels like a piece of shit. I think it's a little of both. Faye, I... I'm... Shut up. What do you know? A lot more than you! <laughs> when I came to, I was surrounded by piles of rubble. I didn't know what had happened, or what I had done. I remembered absolutely nothing. 
All I knew was that my hands st uh, could still feel what they had done. The only thing that penetrated the gear's barrier were screams. Screams accompanied by the stench of blood, the sounds of crushing bone, and my own curses. Look. Look at my hands. Can you hear their voices? Can you understand this feeling? The feeling of having destroyed your village with your own hands? Not being able to do anything for the children left behind? Now they have nothing. I have nothing. I have nowhere, no one. I didn't want to get in it. I had no choice. There was no other way. No. no. Yeah, it's like, just... Yeah. <laughs> so, what's happening here, and you're about to see it in the next scene, is something that connects Faye as a character with most of the other party members that he will meet. So, she just spent the whole time saying, you're a coward, you need to take responsibility for what you did, etc., etc. And guess what? We get another anime sequence! Yay! With more bad lip-syncing. Eh, whatever. You talk Responsibility. Really you bad lip syncing. Do anything. They died because you had to pilot the gear and start fighting. <laughs> it wasn't me. Can't you understand? Not just anyone can pilot those machines, you know. I didn't do it. Why won't you take responsibility? I'm not so strong. Why are you trying to put the blame on others? I'm not even all that talented. For how many freaking anime cutscenes are in this That's game? Right. Not that many in the opening part, though. At least it's... in the opening part, I think this is one of those things that they realize later on. We really can't put in too many of these. So basically, the way the she attempted to like put his things into perspective, but reality, it was just her own insecurities with what had happened to her that she was just pushing off onto Faye. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I am a coward. What's that noise? Uh, uh boss battle! Uh-huh, yeah. T-Rex! Dino Crisis much? Uh, a little bit. So, oh no. <laughs> so there's something interesting to point out. Uh, go on, go on. Oh, okay. No, don't stop. Don't stop on my account. We have too many things to do for you to wait for me. But this game's graphics Ellie. are separated between two different kinds of things. Sprite animations and Sprite 3D animation rendering. and 3D rendering. Which is nice. It is kind of interesting. There's a reason for it. Everything that's sprite animation is a character you would fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right. Everything in 3D animation? Everything you do with ether. Uh, or gear. Yeah. But you don't have a gear, so you're fucked. <laughs> Little bit. So try attacking it. Use your death blow. Four damage! Alright, just do that another like 100 times and you'll be fine. Yeah! Damage. Do that another thousand times and you'll be fine. Yeah, you're pretty much just boned. Oh, fuck yeah. I was, I, I, if I remember correctly, you have to lose to him. Uh, something like that. Just keep attacking. You can't lose. I mean, you can't lose this part. Obviously, <laughs> they're not gonna kill you here. Although, it does remind me of a scene. Um, the Did you ever play the game Blue Dragon? 
Uh, was... not much of it. I actually got bored of the game real quick. Well, in the very beginning of the scene, there's the land shark. Do you remember the land shark? Yeah, shark? I remember that, yeah. Me and me and my one of my friends from uh, before, we sat down and played the game's opening. And when it got to the fight with the land shark, we didn't understand you had to switch to a multiple target. So we kept attacking the land shark, and then the land shark killed us, and it was game over. And we realized that's the game. <laughs> Moral of the story: Don't fight land sharks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, on a sec. To tell me I can use it is one thing. <laughs> So again, you find yourself in a situation where you absolutely have no choice but to use the gear that destroyed your home village. Yep. Good luck with that mentality. Doc, I have a favor to ask. I would defeat this monster, but if it looks like I'll go out of control, uh, like last time, then shoot me. Faye, let's pray that won't happen. But just in case, he's gonna get the hell out of there. Fuck yeah, I would too. He's got a Gatling gun on the front of that thing, though. He could easily shoot you. Or the rain car, for that example. Mm-hmm. Now, kill that thing. All right, time for you to learn the next thing you can do with your gear. Did you notice how you got a bonus power level? Yeah. All right. When you learn Death Blows, it increases the power of your abilities with Death Blow skills. So go to Attack. Now press Triangle, and press Triangle again. Oh. Your attack level determines the uh, certain ability Death Blow you can learn. One is for Triangle moves, two is for Square moves, and three is for X, X moves. moves. Okay. As you continue to learn death blows, it improves the ability of your death blows and gears. You cannot learn death blows, however, in, in your years. gears. Right, I remember that. Do it again. I'm doing. And I think this is it. No, nope. you gotta ki you gotta hit it one more time. Do me a favor, then. I think you can kill it with just your Ether Blast to try that. Not that it matters, but. Yeah, I, I, you would like to. I think you might like to see it. Do it, cause it's coming. Yeah, it. it did no damage. What the hell? Damn contextual boss fights forcing you to use physical attacks. It's not like I don't have tons of hit points, and it's not doing too much to me. Yeah. Again, tutorial boss fight, not actually a threat. Honestly, probably- That probably crushed her. Yeah, yeah. She's dead. That's the end of the game. Yep. And level eight. God damn. And she gets none of that! Well, she's also not going to be in your party for a while. Right. Don't worry. She See, the only thing Faye isn't good for is ether attacks. Um, yeah. That's pretty true. Um, Scales. But he has enough ether power so that with enemies that need contextual ether damage, like those grubs yeah. in the forest. It's enough to get you by, but not enough to be perfect. Yeah, you can keep going. All right. Faye, are you alright? There are definitely enemies that like... Yeah, I guess so. And, and you have to learn them. But like grubs, you have to use ether attacks against them. Otherwise, it'll take forever. It'll take forever, and you could just plain up die. <laughs> the fight with the uh, Rancar was remarkable. An ordinary gear could not defeat that monster, and you certainly kept yourself in good shape. Why did you bring this here, Doc? <laughs> Why did you do this? <laughs> this? You mean Welltall? 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 Yeah, Welltall. This is the gear to destroy our village! Why did you bother bringing it here? I never wanted to see this gear again. He doesn't want to see any gears. He hates gears now. Yeah. I understand how you must feel. But in order to protect yourself, you need a certain degree of strength. Even more since we are being pursued. I agree that a certain degree of strength is needed for self-defense. And if it weren't for this gear here, Ellie and I'd be in the Renkar's stomach right now. 
But its power goes beyond what is necessary. Does one really need the power to destroy everything? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't need that kind of power. I just hate gears. Faye. Using power or being used by power, is that not a problem of the heart? If humans do not use their power for wrong, it can be a good thing. I believe such power can help us. In that respect, I know you'll be fine. It just sure helped you out this time. Uh, wait, hold on, I got something in my eye. Just keep going. I fucking hurt. <laughs> I'm, am I right? He's really spending a lot of time trying to convince you to go ahead and use the gear. No shit. I don't believe that, but so, uh, something is holding me back. This gear. Well, whatever. At least Ellie is safe now. So, I was explaining before how Ellie's name is kind of like an anagram for uh, Saint. For Saint, there's no such there's no such thing for Satan's character. Satan's uh, uh, the name Satan doesn't actually mean anything, as far as I know. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of tr small trivia about those things. Go ahead. Oh, I, I I was letting you talk. You almost did not make it. If I had not ha have helped you, I hate to think what may have happened. But it's not too... Uh, but I was not uh, too pleased with uh, his rashness in trying to take on the Rancar with just his bare fists. Bare fists. <laughs> no, well, his bare fists. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad that you, you were able to find a use for what I brought you. Let us just say we are borrowing uh, what the Kestov army left behind. Oh. Thank you, Faye. This makes twice. Don't mention it. I'll just put it on your tab. That's two bullets you gotta put in me now, right? It's getting dark. Let us make camp now and start out early tomorrow. The both of you look tired, and I need uh, to uh, make some repairs on our friend here. We're calling it friend now. Uh, yeah. For for many reasons that I cannot express <coughs> to you right at this moment. It's no use. The knee. Uh, act. What the hell? Actuator. Actuator and bypass circuits are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuits need to be replaced. I forget what an actuator is. Oh, mm. having trouble sleeping there? Yeah. Oh, it's a type of motor. That's right. I forgot oh. about it. I remember now. I imagine you would. You have, you've had quite a day. This is the machine Faye used in the vill uh, when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Nail Bayer Doris Legas, it was yours, right? So, he just spoke in her language. Yep. Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear uh, that made an emergency landing in Lahan. And the mysterious woman wandering uh, lost in the forest. Are actually one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say that you are with the military. Am I correct? How? Who are you? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, because let's be clear. Um, <laughs> Satan's hiding more than he cares to admit. Yeah, N nobody should know what he what she is. Yeah, I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack on Lahan. The design on uh, on their tags and the design on your uniform are the, there is the same. Do not worry. They were given proper burials. But they may not have been uh, too pleased to die in a foreign land. Maybe. Does Faye know about you? I don't think he has realized yet. Most likely. Faye knows nothing of the world outside of Lahan. He's just a stupid kid. I see. So how come? In any case, it's best if we don't pry into each other's past anymore. <laughs> but we just need to shut up about this right now. Yeah. Let us just say that I know a little bit more about the world than most do. Oh my gosh, understatement of the year. Yeah. Anyway, Ellie, I have a favor. 
I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead and uh, you'll come to a road. Then just keep going. Would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? Ellie, I have a favor to ask you. Get, Get the, the fuck out of here! <laughs> Pretty much! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. He is literally bad luck. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. He's accident Save prone. Save yourself. Yeah, he's accident prone. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in uh, any vain struggle. I am also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, do not, Ellie, you you do not, not belong, belong here. Go back to your family. Um, I do not worry. I will not let Faye, uh, uh, will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will just tell him you went to meet up with your family. No, it's not that. I did something terrible to him. So, I want to apologize. Something terrible? Faye told me it was, uh, our fault, uh, your village was destroyed. They kept saying, if only they hadn't uh, come. Then I called Faye a coward because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But in fact, it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crash landed there, they would all still be living peacefully now. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy, but I accused Faye. You are a rarity. Hey! <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I did not expect your people would ever think like that. To your people, surface stores are nothing more than domesticated animals. Are they not? Oh, hence lamb. Yes. The shepherd Abel took control over the surface dweller lambs. Possessing the right to give life and death onto them as they see fit. Clearly, that's a rehearsed line from her, from her military experience. Yep, exactly. Yet you seem to feel responsible towards Faye and the villagers. Why is that? I don't know myself. At, I would jugend, jug, jug, jugend, jug, ju, ju, I always pronounce Legend, it jugend. Jugend. Legend jugend. You keep going, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> At Jugan, I was taught that the surface dwellers were stupid and base. And that is why we have to control them, but... But upon meeting Faye, something about him made you feel differently. Yes, he's no different than we are. In fact, he seems more powerful. He possesses something. Something we don't. He also risked his life to save me twice. Most of you people would feel ashamed and at receiving such an act. Yet you are grateful to Faye. It would probably be because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller. No one knew about her though. Besides, I am the same as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. Hmm. I think I understand. I'm sorry, after just saying we should uh, not pry. It is my nature, you know. My wife says I am too persistent and that I talk too much. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. Yes, you do. <laughs> he is he is a bit of a... Uh... Chatterbox? Yeah. It is probably best if we return home to our country. Uh, you really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters, but then what? You are worried? Yes. Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once, too, you know? Oh, Satan. Anyway, let me handle uh, what to tell Faye. You had better go now. God, Faye's like me. Sleep's like a fucking rock. Yeah. world could blow up around him, and I wouldn't, wouldn't even fucking know. Maybe. Drummy, do I need to remind you of the Omicron final battle? No. When you were supposedly screaming and I was passed out? That is not what I mean. I mean, he wasn't asleep. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Has Ellie gone yet? He was awake for most of that conversation. Oh, smart bastard. Yeah. Oh, so you were awake. Yes. I woke up midway, so I only heard part of what you two were discussing. Ellie. So that's what she is. 
be. She is. I know. It's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. Hold on. Uh, one quick, quick thing. Jugend. Jugend. Jugend? It is German for youth. Oh. Literally. So they were speaking German. Literally, it's a word. Yeah. Literally, it's a word for school. And it's the German word for youth. Huh. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how is that, uh, everyone from the village going? Oh, you know, pretty much still hating you. Do not worry. You, you is, is taking care of them. I told her to leave soon and take them all to a certain place. They should be safe for a while, so you just worry about yourself for now. Not telling you what that place is, of course. But they're okay. Yeah. Guess <coughs> what? Guess what? It'll be another 30 hours before you figure out oh, what that is. Oh, fuck yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Everything that I have questions on, I'm just tacking on another 30 fucking hours. <laughs> Okay. Even though, even though I just said, go, go on. Even though okay, I now, just said, uh, now to think that we should, uh, now to think what we should do next. <laughs> Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of uh, Dazil? We may learn what Ave and Kislov are up to. Not to mention getting some parts for Welltall. The leader of Ave is not going to sit back and let the uh, uh, the other night's fiasco. Go by unpunished. Ave? Ave? Yeah, <laughs> you gave it. You put too much emphasis on the wrong syllable. I'm sorry. So he starts off with step shoes and glasses, which gives you which gives you bonuses to hit percentage and evade percentage. Yeah, I see. And he's got fencing wear, which is nice. Huh? I actually don't need to change his uh. I will say that you just took off. I, 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 I just realized that. I was given the power ring instead. No, I'd rather have it with the extra hit percent. Uh, hit percent. Uh, hit per uh, percent. Okay. Because Faye. It literally doesn't matter. I will say, honestly, hit percentage doesn't really matter. You sure? The two points you get from it don't make too big of a difference. It's kind of weird that it doesn't make that big of a difference, but it really doesn't. Mm -hmm. Then, honestly, the extra power is going to help you more anyway. Honestly, it also doesn't matter because his, uh, hey, he's the healer. Because God, he has a lot of EP. Um, you did you notice his health? God damn, he is broke for level five. Yeah, that's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah, no shit. That's not uh, normal. Where to go? Uh, go south. Away from the gear. Uh, it's more like southwest. There you go. Oh, but what's going on? So even though I just told you that the mysteries that get presented to you in the game are going to be settled rather quickly, some of them don't. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I would assume it's an aerial battleship from a bay. You would assume, wouldn't you? It's not like you already know. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. An aerial battleship? I've never heard of Avey having anything like that. Of course it does not come from Avey originally. Most likely it belongs to the Gebler forces stationed in Avey. Gebler? Special forces from the sacred empire of Solaris, known as Gebler. I'm sure you've heard of something about them. They're an organization providing law-scale military uh, aid to the kingdom of Avey. They showed up in Ignis several month, uh, months ago until the uh, until then, Ave was being routed by uh, Kislev. But when Gebler helped, uh, they managed to regain half their losses. They are now expanding their territory and gathering resources buried in the ruins. I've heard the village elder talk about it. Is Ellie a part of that? <clears throat> Quite possible so. Their group has superior technology and power. It is rumored they are uh, here solely to get the resources in the ruins. I am surprised they are uh, using something as powerful as that ship. 
it must be this uh it must be to suppre uh, suppress the recent uh, border skirmishes so they are fighting the Keslov Empire yes it seems they have found new ruins on the northern edge of a bay uh, those ruins are under a 500 year old temple what you, the fuck you can you can go ahead and stop reading Satan's lines and just skip through those segments because again Exposition, exposition. That means nothing to me. Get it out ASAP. So basically, they were kind of like restating the thing they mentioned in the very beginning of the game the 500 year long war that's been going on for as long as people can remember. So they're just giving, they're just repeating backstory. A little bit, but they're trying to point out that Ellie's group, Gebler, and the Solaris Empire, which they just mentioned, are the people that are giving this large-scale military aid to the Desert Kingdom of Ave, which is helping them win the war against Kislev. However, it is clear that that's probably not a good thing. Now, as a tidbit of helpful hints for you, and this is kind of actually disappointing. All the characters use the same combinations for death blows. Okay. At least starting off, I think some of them change up later on. But it helps you because if you learn the death blow for one person, you'll start, you'll pick it up rather quick for too cumbersome. If you had to learn different new combinations. death blow combinations for every single character, because you will have nine characters, I think, by the end of the game. And I don't understand why you're not... Yeah, I don't understand why you were not able to get in already, but... From anywhere else but there! This is... Dazil? Dazzle? Dazil? Dazil? The yes, Duke right, of... The Desert Shrine of Dazil... Get ready for the Duke! The Duke of Zill. This town's lively. This is the center for all excavation in Ave. So this town is basically like an industrial hub port for all the excavators in the desert ruins. All the ruins are in these deserts, basically. Okay. Which is kind of where the whole reasoning behind, I think, behind Gebler siding with Ave. That's one of the things that you kind of keep asking yourself, like, why does Gebler side with Ave? Well, it's because all the ruins are in the desert. Right. And so, if Gebler helps Ave, and as Satan just said, it's clear that Gebler wants to get into those ruins, that makes sense of who you want to fight. Okay, uh, you can avoid almost everything, but uh, you can go to that person over there to buy items. The, the one behind all the boxes? Yeah. Yes. Welcome! And you can buy aqua souls. You can avoid any of those except the physicals and ment souls. I want you to buy five, no, three of each. Oh, yeah. You gotta press right to select how much you want of each. Uh, don't. Just three? Um, get just three of those and then buy one survival tent. I already have a survival tent. Buy another one. Okay. And then that's it. Go to sell. Good items, and you can sell. Well, you don't actually need to sell anything. I would just say hold on to everything. Yeah, including that. I'm just looking. And the scales. Okay, that's fine. Now, where's the armor shop? Uh, right there. The other person wearing... This one? Or... No, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm sorry. Right there. That person. So let's see what you can buy, because I don't know what you can buy exactly. Don't need any of that. Don't need oh, any good. of that. Oh, good. It, it does highlight who can and can't equip it. Yes. The red outline means they can equip it. The blue letter means it's worse. The red letters means it's better. And E means they you already mean have red numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh! You can't see the blue. It's they, they're white to me. Okay. So white is so bad, fencing. Red is good. So fencing where you may want to buy one for him. Uh, you can't buy another power ring, but that's okay. You don't really need it. Uh, what else can he sell? Go down. 
Uh, another stamina ring? No. No, don't worry about that. Buy two fencing caps. That's it. Oh, ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. One fencing cap. There you go. Uh, go back and talk to him again. No, 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 and so, do it again, and this time for Satan. Yeah! Oh, you actually... So actually, I wouldn't sell anything on him. No, you would. Never mind then. But that is a nice trick. Holy hiya! Hiya! I kind of want to take the power ring off of him and uh, give it to Faye. You can. It's up to you. Uh, you can also, again, it, it kind of comes up to you because right now Satan is the one who has the healing and you don't. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. I, Faye gets a healing spell too. I would say don't worry about it too much. It, 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 right now, the amount of customization you can make with the characters... I know, it's very limited. It's going to be very limited, so I would I would say not worry too much about it. Uh, for now, go to that building, to your right. Trying to still get used to some of the camera controls. I know, it can be kind of annoying. Imagine playing this on my phone, where the, oh, direct no. where the directional pad is right below the L1 button. So sometimes I'll be walking oh. around and all of a sudden the camera will just be like, Whee! Whoa. Oh, I think it kind of... Yeah, bad camera angles. Uh, and also glitchy wow, so emulation. This is, uh, so this is the Ethos Workshop, huh, Doc? Yes, the Ethos Workshops are the only places that officially repair gears. Let us see if we can get the parts we need to fix Wiltal here. I, I, did, I, did, I did say you could... You don't have to read out all the lines that everyone says. Get out of my way. Especially with Satan. You know what? Just don't read Satan's lines. Read everybody else's lines except Satan's wordy fucking lines. So he you 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 got no luck. You're hoping to replace an X29 model injection circuit that's only used on the latest military models. Clearly, you have something of some worth. Yeah, no shit. Can we sell this piece of shit? <laughs> You're not trying to sell it. You're trying to fix it. I want to sell it, now. I'm going to buy a different one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not want to sell this thing. You want to... I figured. <laughs> the workshop is only for the repair of billion years. Sorry to have bothered you. So, that's it. Leave. Mission not accomplished. Mission failed. Huh. Doc, do we have a moment? I need to talk to you. See, now, Faye is basically <clears throat> getting the exact same mentality that you're having. He's like, why not just get rid of this thing? Yeah. So, Faye, what did you want to do? Well, Doc, it's about Wiltal. We can't find the parts we need, so it's alright if we don't fix it. Do not repair it? What is the problem, Faye? How about well, this? How about this? I'll read Satan. I can, I can deal with that. I'll read Satan. You take care of everybody else. Well, we've been able to come as far as uh, Dazil on our own. So doesn't that show that we don't need Weltal as much as we thought? Actually, I've been thinking that once uh, things cool down, I want to go back to Lahan and help rebuild. That's all I feel I can do now. I see. If that is what you want, Faye, then fine. But I think we should try and move Welltal as far away from there as possible. Move it away? But why do we need uh, to do that, Doc? Because you're a fucking idiot! <laughs> it is only my speculation, but you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I suspect the incident that evening occurred because the Gebler Special Force stole a Kislev military gear. 
really knows way too much that he, he should know. To admit. It's like, I know who... Uh, strange that I know that these were Kislev gears chasing these Gebler forces with the Kislev stolen gear, and suddenly I'm also curious at how I, how I was uh, foreboding this omen in the first place as, uh, as reference to the He Awakens line during the battle. Yep. Many, many interesting <laughs> things. Special, fo Special Force? You mean Ellie's group? Yes, Turd Basket. <laughs> <laughs> now, sh now, <laughs> it's next time, pay your respects, bitch. <laughs> when I examined the broken gear in the village, I realized the Gebler pilot was riding a Kislev gear. How would you know that? It must have had some new technology involved in it for the Kislev army to send pursuit forces after it. New technology? Uh, I suspect that the Gebler force was out to steal a new experimental gear. Yeah, you go ahead and suspect that. Yeah. I am sure news of the special forces failure has reached the capital. They will be investigating the Lahan area to reclaim whatever parts of the new gear that they can find. Hold on, Doc. Won't the Kessel of Army still be in Lahan too? Uh, yeah, most probably. <laughs> and in that case, there will be a conflict between Avea's inspection team and Kislev's pursuit troops. If they find where we have hidden Weltal... The armies will fight over who gets Weltal and right near Lahan too. So to avoid any problems, we should move Weltal somewhere else right away. But we can't fix it in order to move it. Yeah, well, right, but staying here will solve nothing. Fortunately, this is the center of all excavation work in this country. There is bound to be some information on where we can find parts. Anyway, the fear is often worse than the danger itself. We should not let such fears hold us back. Now, uh, head to the front of the town where you were before. No one says I couldn't jump! <laughs> no, there you go. This is a sand buggy. That is it, Faye! I have thought of a good way to get the parts we need for Weltal. First, we have to get, uh, we have got to find out who will rent us this buggy. Sand buggy? Land shark! <laughs> sand buggy is a special car made for the desert. Uh, its tires do not sink into the sand, so it is a must for long trips into the desert. So then, Doc, what do we, uh, what do you plan on doing with this sand buggy? Well, leave it to me. Just you wait and see. Alright, uh, go left. No, go south. Go south. Uh, go southwest. No, not there. Turn around. There. Bar. Where all adventuring parties need to go. Yep. <laughs> this sure is a noisy place. Well, in a place like this, you have to expect this kind of atmosphere. Yeah, but even so. Now, you get to meet the greatest character of the game. Oh god, this asshole. SHUT UP! <laughs> I hate this guy. Why are you all yapping when Big Joe is here trying to drink in peace? Can't y'all shut up? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I don't care if you're Big Joe or Big Schmo. You don't mess with me. <laughs> and don't worry, you get to see this guy again. I know. Do we? Oh yeah, keep going. Just, just keep you're going. You're reading Big Joe. No, 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 no. We're not doing readings. We're not reading every goddamn line. I told you. After Final Fantasy VI, I have that realized- That was the dumbest idea ever? No, mostly, I- This game is too serious to, to- To, you know, to waste time on reading people's lines. I will say that there is no big secret to Big Joe. He's not like- He's not like secretly a, a, a devil or, or some yeah, weird I thing. Yeah, I figured. He's- He's Hercule. Oh, God. 
But he's not nearly, he's not nearly as like, um, uh, as like, he's not nearly as bad as Hercule. He's just really full of himself and he has his fans. But he's very much the Hercules type of character. Giant, big chin, and for some reason he has a star on his cheek. I don't know why. I could just do it myself right now. By tomorrow, I'll be a different person. If you didn't understand that, I'll repeat. <laughs> Don't count your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> you drinking too? Booze is my okay, life. Okay, now he's just repeating himself. Yeah, he's just repeating himself. He's not important. Talk to the lady. Stay a night. Get that health. Get that EP. Get that rest. It's not like I lost much. Also, I can't remember where a save point was in this village. Also not really important. Uh, go ahead and leave. I thought, I thought it was in that room, but it's not. Uh, go back to the sand buggy. Because that was literally the point of being here. Uh, go into the building right next to the sand buggy. So, my original idea of where I thought we should have Well, gone. yeah. Talk to the guy at the desk. Oh. Um, mm. Or talk to that guy. So this game does this thing where like you can talk to people and um, and still walk around sometimes. So so Tan's gonna take a sand buggy into the desert to search for parts. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to excavate some ruins? <laughs> Do you remember? Did you watch Dragon Ball Z Evolution? Uh, no. I refuse. Oh man, there was a scene where the Goku character that they they casted. He's like, "Hey, Master Roshi, get down here, cause we gotta excavate this. We gotta excavate our sand buggy." Uh. Now every time I think about excavate, now every time I hear about excavate. That's the what I think about. It was the dumbest line in the entire movie. And now I go back to the bar. No. You don't actually go back to the bar. Because what he's doing is dumb. Satan is literally going to be riding out in a sand buggy into the middle of battlegrounds. Yep. To try to steal parts. So leave. And next time here on Burning Nerds the Game, uh, head into the desert and uh, find Satan. Well, maybe. All right then. Or at the very least, we'll die in the desert from starvation. Oh or, boy! Or dehydration. Probably, more. Probably dehydration. Because there's plenty of monsters that will kill you. Yeah. Or well, maybe you'll just die from a monster in the desert. Yay. Until next time, good night! Night!